Hey guys, it's Sparkle Spice, and I'm so excited because of today I'm doing something new. I've got this whole bunch of super squishy things, and I just wanted to investigate and see what might be inside of these things. Are they all the same, or do they have different things inside that make them squishy? I've got a splat ball, and this squishy foam, and a blob ball, and then I also have a mashem and fashem. Do they have the same thing inside, or is it different? I don't know, but I plan on finding out. Let's get started. Let's see what might be inside of this splat ball. Okay, here's my splat ball, and it's a red tomato. It's got some green stems on top, and it's super easy to squeeze, and when I do squeeze it, I can kind of see that there's some type of liquid in there. So I'm gonna bring in this cup so that if the liquid does pour out, hopefully it'll make it into the cup. All right, I'm really excited to see what is in this splat ball. Let's cut into it. Here we go, I'm really nervous. Ah, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> looks like it's just water. It's a little stream of water that's pouring out. How neat. Let's see, I can squeeze all of the water out. See if it, ah, <laughs> I squirted myself a little bit. Okay, I think all of the water is out of our splat ball. So let's see it. Looks like it is just super stretchy, rubbery. I'll even cut into it a little bit more so that we can see inside. Okay, let's take a look inside of the splat ball. Oh, little more water. Very stretchy. Nothing else inside. <laughs> Doesn't exactly look like a tomato anymore. It's a little flatter now, but still super stretchy. And you can see here how much water was inside. And it's just, it's actually kind of cool too. So neat. So that's what was inside of our splat ball. Now, of course, this is not what we should be doing by ourselves. Make sure you have an adult helping you if you're cutting anything open or just don't do it at all, okay? I'm just experimenting here. All right, next up is our super squishy blob ball, which might also be called a slime ball or a disease ball, but let's take it out of the package here so we can get a better look at it. Okay, so it has a black mesh around it, and the ball part is red, so let's see what happens when I squeeze. Whoa! So you can see all these little balls of like, pussy, green, slime, or something is in there. And so the color changes. The outside is red, but whatever's inside is actually green. So neat. So I think the first thing I'll start doing is just taking this mesh off so we can take a look at the ball. Okay, pop the top off. And so hopefully we can just slip the ball out of the mesh now. There we go. Okay, so will it still change colors when you squeeze it? It does. It's still very squishy. And you can see that green is inside and you can stretch it and it kind of takes a little while for it to go back to its regular shape. All right, so let's see what is inside of this blob slime ball. Here we go. I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife this time, and again, um, please make sure you have a parent help you if you're doing this. Don't do it on your own. All right, let's give it a squeeze and give it a cut here. What will happen? Whoa, oh man, did you see that slime burst out of there? Let's see if we can get it all out. Look at this slime, it's still like stuck in there. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can just squeeze it out, almost. Oh, okay, let's give it a feel. Okay, it feels kind of like in between a slime or a putty. It doesn't stretch too much, so it's more like a putty, but it's very soft and cool. Oh my goodness, and it is very blobby. It's green, just like we saw whenever we would squeeze it. 
So let's see, I don't know if there's any more in here, but I'll cut it into it and see if we can see what's inside of that ball. I'll go ahead and use the scissors. All right, here we go. Looks like there might be some more slime in there. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> not to be gross, but it's kind of snot-like, isn't it? <laughs> but it's not. It just looks that way. Oh, super gross. See if I can get it all off. So that's just it. It's just the slime inside of this super stretchy, rubbery ball. Let's see. It still does stretch pretty good. Here's the outside again and all the slime was contained inside. Yuck! And here's our slime. Ooh, very gross. Ah, it's pretty stretchy now. It didn't seem too stretchy before. Wow, that is really stretching a lot. And it sticks to you a little bit, but comes off really easy too. That was so neat. That was really cool to investigate and see what was inside of that ball. Super squishy. All right, let's see what's next. All right, here's what is next. S another squishy item. This is a little pretend french fry keychain here. So we've got a keychain that we can clip it onto backpacks and stuff. Squeezing it and it pops right back into its shape. So it holds its shape. And let's see what's inside. We'll give it a cut and check it out. Let's see if I can use my X-Acto knife here and cut into it. Scissors might work a little better. Let's see, that gave us a little peek inside. We'll go a little deeper. Ooh, okay. So I'm really just seeing some foam in there. Let's go ahead and cut all the way through it. I can actually kind of rip it. Once you get it started, you can just rip it with your own hands. And then we'll, let's see, can I pick out some of the foam? I can tear it right out. There's our foam. It's just soft and squishy, just like it felt when it was wrapped up inside of the french fries. So same thing. I'll cut it up here a little bit. Let's see if my scissors give it a good cut. Yup, easy to cut into smaller pieces. Nothing spills out of this one. It's just all foam inside. Whoop, well, there you go. Feels pretty strong when you can just rip it on your own. There's <laughs> some of our french fry pieces that doesn't quite look the same anymore. Let's see over here. So again, I can rip some of the foam out. There it is. No liquid inside, just foam in this one. And you can rip yourself. Whoa, this one ended up in a lot of smaller pieces. Soft, squishy, foam. That's what's inside of this one. Okay, so what's next? Well, I've got a Paw Patrol Mashum and a My Little Pony Fashum. And I was wondering, is the same thing in both of these things or is it something different? What makes them squishy? So I will start with our Paw Patrol Marshall Mashum here. He's super squishy and stretchy and we'll just cut into him and see what's inside, what makes it squish. Okay, let's check it out. I'll go through his hat. Let's see. It's definitely very hard rubber. Oops, I'm starting to get something. Let's try our scissors. Let's see, sorry about this, Marshall. Ooh, it just made a sound like air coming out. I think that might have been what was inside. Oh yeah, look, nothing inside, nothing came out. It was just like a big burst of air that was held inside of there. So see, here's inside of our Marshall. It's just all white, stretchy, rubbery, and just air. Maybe we could see if we could get this hat off of him. Let's see. What is under the hat? I'm going to take a little snip here and go around to get Marshall's hat off. Sorry about that, Marshall. 
Let's see. Okay, now Marshall's hat is not on Marshall anymore. <laughs> it's just a little red fire hat. Maybe it will fit on our My Little Pony. <laughs> not quite. Very cool. Okay, so we know that we're, there was just some air inside of our Paw Patrol Masham. So let's see what happens with our My Little Pony Fasham. Is it the same thing? What makes it squishy? Let's find out. Okay, this is Pinkie Pie. And Pinkie Pie is going to show us what's inside. Oops, here we go. I snipped a little bit of hair. They're very thick and rubbery, so kind of hard to cut through. Whoa, did you see that? There is water squirting out of there. It's different. It's not just air inside of the fashion. There's water too. You can see that it's kind of all wet here. Let me see if I can keep cutting. And snip, oops, a little bit more water coming out. Here we go. Not a lot of space. It's not inside of the whole body of the fashion. Not inside the body, I don't think. Just inside the head. And you can see maybe it's a little shiny. That's from being wet. Let's cut into the body though and see if there's any water in there. Also. Okay, sorry, Pinkie Pie. Okay, so. I see here that the body is solid rubber. The only part that had the water was up here in the head. Very cool, we found out what makes everything squishy. We cut up so many squishy things today. We had our blob slime ball here full of all this green slime. We had a mashem and fashem, a splat ball, and this foam keychain. Everything was so squishy and fun to see what was inside. If there's something you'd like to see me cut up, let me know in the comments section and we can try it out and do an experiment. And also, do you remember what was inside of this tomato splat ball? Was it water or air or maybe slime? If you know, leave your answer in the comment section. And if you'd like to see me cut up some more fun squishy things, like and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Thanks for watching. Touch this circle with Capway in it and touch subscribe to subscribe. If you'd like to watch this video, touch here. Or you can touch over here to watch this video and touch up here for this video.